Okay, James, it looks as though you've got us really well organised here. Um, can you explain why you've set things up in the way that you have? Yeah, sure, Trev. And being organised is the key phrase. You'll notice that we've got everything arranged in the peg very efficiently. We've got the seat box in position. This box has got adjustable legs, which means that you can adjust the box to the terrain. And that's really important when you're pole fishing because you want to have a nice level seat box to sit on. And also, you want to um, be able to sit correctly whilst holding the pole. So it's very important to spend some time getting the box positioned correctly. Okay. We've got a side tray here that clips onto the side of the box where you're going to put all your bait and some extra terminal tackle, bits and bobs. They're all very close to hand. Okay, so if I do get problems, I can keep fishing in an efficient manner. Absolutely. Once you're on your box, there's no real need to get off. Everything is in position. We've got additional bait in the bucket here. We've got some, a tackle box there with small rigs, a coat, which it looks like it might start raining, so your coat's to hand. You haven't got to get up and go back to the car. You've got everything in position. Okay, also notice we have some drawers on the front of the box as well, yeah. so I can position stuff yeah. in there. A, a pole-style box like this is really useful. You can keep all your rigs, all your terminal tackle, and make everything very simple and efficient. You'll notice that we've got an attachment on the box for the keep net. So again, the keep net is positioned correctly, so that it's not to the left or right of your peg. It's easily in position so that you can place the fish in the net very easily. We've got your landing net set up right next to the box. Now you're left-handed, so that's why the net's on the right side. But it's all about maximising your tackle very efficiently on your peg. Okay, so once you're there, you're set, you're ready to roll, yeah. and you can keep moving. Absolutely. Okay. I see we've got uh, the pole back here, James. Yeah. Can you explain about this? Well, that's, as you know, we're going to fish with a long pole, so we have to actually ship the pole in and out during the fish catching process. Okay. So we're actually using a pole roller, which helps make the job really easy. You'll notice that I've positioned the pole roller about halfway back in terms of the distance from the box to the length of the pole. In this case, we're fishing with eight meters to start with. So I've got the pole roller around about four meters, four and a half meters back from the fishing station. Okay. So that just simply means that you can ship the pole out on the roller backwards and forwards, very smoothly and easily. You can see how the roller's yeah. very stable and obviously That's helps. That's a good balance yeah. point. It's the, it's the perfect balance point for the length of pole that you're using. Oh, okay. And the other thing to think about when you're using a pole roller is it keeps the pole off the ground, so it's more visible. You know, if somebody's walking along, they're going to have to either walk around it or walk over, over it, it, rather than maybe not see it and tread on it. So and also, I suppose, you're not going to damage the end of the pole by running it back over rough ground. Absolutely. If you were to do that, if you were literally to ship the pole on the ground, you'd get grit and all sorts of uh, dirt in the, inside the pole that's going to damage the pole and cause you problems and wear your pole out, basically. So yeah. this is maximising the efficiency of your pole. Okay, I, I will touch on you. You've got your, yeah. your, your land, your rod holder here. Yeah, I like to have my rod back behind me in this position so I can place other sections. Maybe if we're not fishing as far out, maybe if we've got two lines, so our eight meter line and a four or five meter line, I can use my rod bag to achieve the okay. same thing. So I like to keep my rod bag behind me for that reason. Okay, so you're really organized. You can, you're, you've got versatility in terms of fishing out or fishing in and you don't need to move. Absolutely. So that's how to set up the fishing station correctly for pole fishing. Okay.